welcome to my secret lab. Pineapple, parsley, peanut butter, pimento. What's the experiment, JD? The perfect smoothie with balanced proteins, carbs, and fats. As I've always said, great ideas originate in the muscles. So, like, I'm not strong enough to come up with great ideas? Is that what you're saying? Mr. Edison means that great ideas come from hard work. Then I'm a genius. I've worked on this recipe for weeks. <laughs> Guys, we were out walking and stumbled on a life or death emergency. A power company worker is stranded on a wind turbine with a nest of bald eagles. Check it. This eagle's nest is gonna fall if I let go. Bring up a rope from my truck and I'll lower it down. The access stairs are locked. People, we've got to figure out how to get that rope up to the workman. Sounds like you'll need some form of propulsion. Propulsion is what causes something to move. Like exploding gasoline in a car engine. <gasps> Imagine if we built a catapult! Medieval armies used them for launching rocks, spears, and fire. We just aim it to shoot high and... Die! Anyone have a better idea? Gee, thanks, JD. I am not discouraged, because every wrong attempt discarded is another step forward. <gasps> we can use that! Burp power! Sorta. Gas power. Let's build a gas-powered rocket. Yes! And I know just the kind to build. A plastic bottle rocket. Awesome! Uh, how do rockets work, anyway? Well, they were first invented in China. ka -ching! Hey! What's up? Hi, Chang. Hi, secret lovers. Chang, we need to build a bottle rocket and thought you could lead us in the right direction. Sure can, Angie, since that direction is China. 2,000 years ago, they started messing with gunpowder-filled bamboo tubes stuck on arrows and shot with bows. Took them 700 years to figure out their fire arrows could launch themselves. Rocketry was born. Have fun with your rocket. Bottle rockets work the same way as a fire arrow. Expanding gas. A trip through the virtual reality window should rocket your understanding to the next level. Yeah, but I'll launch the window immediately. Bumpolt, you sent us into the middle of a battle. Yeah. Oh! I'll correct the problem, Mark Schnell. Activating virtual miniaturization. That gray wall is the packed gunpowder. And there's the fuse. Guys, a burning fuse plus gunpowder equals one big explosion. Look, Kent. The expanding gas is creating pressure. The exertion of force on a surface by a gas, fluid, or object in contact with it. Whoa! Because the tube is capped at one end, the pressure can only escape out the open end. Whoa! 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 Producing thrust to push with force! Whoa! Whoa! The virtual reality window is virtually broken. The flame's coming out of one end of the rocket, but the rocket's going in the opposite direction. Nothing's broken, Kent. You'll find the answer to that puzzle on April 15th, 1726. Sir Isaac Newton? That's it! He's just discovered the laws of gravity. No, that was yesterday. 
today I discovered the caramel apple. Ha <laughs> mm, Thanks. Mr. Newton, why does the flame go one way and the rocket goes the other? It's my third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Right. That's why it's a bad idea to push on something while standing on wheels. Exactly. And that's why the downward thrust of a rocket will overcome its inertia and push it up. Whoa, 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 wait. Inner what? Inertia. That's my first law. An object at rest tends to stay at rest unless acted on by an outside force. And an object in motion stays in motion unless an outside force changes it. <laughs> So our bottle rocket needs enough downward thrust to overcome its inertia and get it going up. I couldn't have said it better myself, <laughs> although I did. Thanks, Mr. Newton. The clock's ticking, people. We've got a nest of hungry eaglets in trouble. I'll get the water bottle. I'll get the gunpowder. I'm afraid I don't keep any gunpowder in the lab, Kent. So what do we use for rocket fuel? It shouldn't be too hard to find another fuel. They're just chemicals. Sheila's a chemistry whiz. Give her a call. Bonjour, mes amis. How do you like my newest version? I made it from emulsified amino acids and plant enzymes. <laughs> it looks like you're wearing a fruit salad on your head. Don't insult her. No, no. JD is light. It is edible. When the fashion goes out of style, you can have it for lunch. Sheila, we're making a bottle rocket and need fuel that creates expanding gas. Sufficient. Many chemicals, when mixed, create expanding gas. You mean like pineapple, parsley, peanut butter, and pimento? Oh, that would create a very nasty gas indeed. But to propel a rocket, you need a faster chemical reaction. That is when one or more substances are changed into another on a molecular level. Right. Oh, dear. Like if Von Bolt got wet and the oxygen in the water combined with the iron in his steel, turning it into iron oxide called rust. What's the matter with Von Bolt? He hates rust. He'll have nightmares for weeks. The best chemicals to use for your bottle rocket are water, vinegar, and sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate sounds dangerous. Don't be silly. It is plain baking soda. Bon chance. OK, guys, let's build a rocket. We'll need two two-liter water bottles, a roll of duct tape, cardboard and plywood, a wine cork, scissors, and a screw! And for the rocket fuel, we'll need two cups of water, one cup of vinegar, two tablespoons of baking soda, and a piece of paper towel. Let's get it! These fins will be way better than a stick to keep our rocket going straight. And this pointy nose cone will make it more aerodynamic. Able to move through the air easier. With less drag, from air resistance that could slow its forward motion. This cork will keep the gas in the bottle to build up pressure. There's no time for testing. Come on! Hurry it up down there! T minus 60 seconds and counting! Prepare the rocket fuel! Two cups water, one cup vinegar. Okay, J.D., as soon as I drop in this baking soda, quickly place the rocket onto the cork so the gas doesn't escape. Roger that, mission leader. All systems, go! Three, two, one, blast off! Oh, now that's an epic failure. No reason to be discouraged, guys. Like Mr. Edison said, 
Every wrong attempt is another step forward. Ah, oh, the rope's too heavy for a rocket to lift! Larry, get it up there before I drop these eaglets! Ben Franklin, that's the answer. A kite? No, a string. Of course. The string won't create as much drag on the rocket. But where will we get string? In my truck. Three, two, one, blast off! Got it! Pull away, Nikki. has landed. <laughs> Sorry. For more fun videos, subscribe to Cartoon Channel.